first either angling your eyes downwards or closing your eyes using that added sensitivity that happens to your inner experience and then working with your position. What we're aiming for straightness especially a kind of straightness that frees up your breathing at the same time a sense of relaxation and the relaxation can be worked with especially in terms of your shoulders so one metaphor is that your spine is like the trunk of a tree and your shoulders are like branches hanging down. And this has the effect of both sensitizing you to your breathing and removing any obstructions to your breathing. And of course, extending your exhaling breath. Challenging yourself to breathe all the air out of your lungs. Feeling the natural urging to breathe in. Allowing yourself to breathe a little bit slower. And to feel the transitions from inhalation to exhalation. And from exhalation to inhalation. Now this has a kind of excavating quality, being able to focus in on the fundamentals of our experience. Our core, and the slower breathing helps us become more harmonized with each breath. So it could have been a busy day, it could have been stressful day. Could have been a day when you knew you were, shall we say, becoming more distanced from your core experience of being. Perfectly understandable, it happens fair amount, but clearly what we're doing is reversing that process. We're all, just by being here, helping each other refocus on our basic experience of being. using breathing sensations as a very ready vehicle for bringing our minds to focus on the present moment. And while we talk about the present moment, 
and we know some signs of when we're present oriented versus caught in either the past or the future. Indeed, every present moment is different. And if you are being in the present, there's a lot of present moments to experience. This is not a more, shall we say, stable experience. It's actually a more dynamic experience. But at the same time, we emphasize, especially with the exhaling breath, the consistent journey into relaxation. In other situations, we may urge ourselves, we may catalyze energy tell ourselves to do stuff, get ourselves to do stuff. Here we're doing the opposite. We're letting go, relaxing, and the energy we feel is discovered amidst the relaxation. This orientation helps us to discover as well areas of held tension. Wherever it is that there's a block where we haven't been able to let go. And so tension has accumulated. And now under these more intensive circumstances, we can begin to let go even of these areas of tension. Breath is an important vehicle. Whatever you feel as an area of tension, you can breathe through it. And you can let it go. Just as we let go of air, it leaves our bodies we can let go of tensions. They can leave our bodies. We can get lighter, less tension.
as you get to know your body under the conditions of mindfulness practice, you become familiar with the exit points, where tension tends to exit from your body. Letting go creates openness. However, you release tension into the environment, opens you to the environment. And this environment is very purposefully constructed. We're all doing this together. We're all intent on cultivating peace. any instructions seem to distance you from your experience, just let go. Just like every moment is different, every meditation session is different. You might feel like you're getting the hang of it, and you are, but getting the hang of it is really being open to whatever is new in your experience. The welling up of energy out of a general feeling of relaxation is an unusual experience. It's a confirming experience. reminds us that energy, vitality, is natural. We don't have to crank up. 
just have to feel what's happening in the moment. Your thought process by this point is more accustomed to going along with these kinds of instructions. But your thought process is typically skeptical. Reality testing. Looking for whatever is not valid. So we don't stop any thought. We don't limit any thought. We don't censor any thought. More than in most other situations, we allow our thinking process to be free. Once we're aware of thinking, understanding that it will typically take us into the past or into the future, we switch focus back to the breathing sensation. Mindfulness gives you perspective on thinking. Sometimes it's also called taming the mind. interested in thinking dominating. We're not being ruled by our thoughts. So we take note and then move attention back to breathing sensations, to the present moment.
term often used in mindfulness practice is equanimity. And it is partly the result of your energy, your basic energy, becoming better regulated. you feel while you're doing this that you have too much energy, you can simply let energy go. Let it leave your body. Let it flow. And if for some reason you feel like you don't have enough energy, you feel tired, just let yourself explore and be with that fatigue. Once you feel it, take note of it, and move your attention back to your breathing sensations. It's liberating to not have to worry about energy. Worry that you're running out of it. Worry that there's just too much going on. And with this approach, you can stop worrying. Whenever you are in the present moment, it's hard or impossible to worry. Your experience is too direct, too simple. a break from worry. When doing mindfulness, you can feel your whole body.
The usual division is between head, shoulders, upper and lower torso. And melt away. practice, the more you realize that this practice is not the absence of movement or experience. It's an abundance, actually, of movement in the sense of flow. It's realizing all that is happening moment by moment. So just allow yourself to move, stretch. 